I'm Pansy and I'm a disabled burlesque performer. I actually got diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I definitely felt like I was like limited just by my ability, just by being sick. Burlesque has helped build my confidence because performing is something that makes me feel confident. Being celebrated by an audience and by fellow performers. The more you interact with the world in a way that serves you, the more good feedback you're gonna get and the more confident you're gonna feel overall. My name is Pansy, I am 25 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California. I am a burlesque performer, a model, and an emergency veterinary technician. I'm huge on crafting. I love embroidery, rhinestoning, costume making. I also love doing makeup. I just like experiencing the world in different forms. I like creativity. I like feeling like I am my own kind of art. I first started using a wheelchair in my teens. Um, prior to that, I just started developing like extreme pain and it over time became really painful to walk. I was also noticing a series of other issues. I lost a lot of weight. I couldn't really digest food. I would like pass out, which I have my whole life, but it increased in frequency. And as these things started to become more severe, I started relying on a wheelchair to get around. I actually got diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So I actually had to drop out of school because I was getting so many medical appointments and kind of in and out of the hospital and stuff. So that really changed my life as a teenager. I definitely felt like I was like limited just by my ability, just by being sick. I think having time to myself where I really had to find things to do like within a hospital brought me towards makeup just because it's something that's so mobile, so transportable. So I was kind of stuck at home and makeup was something I could do in the comfort of my own home to feel good without having to actually get up. I could do it lying down. Um, I could do it from a hospital bed if I needed to. I love that makeup gives me a chance to express myself. I get to play with colors and different looks. And I feel like in some ways embody characters, which is something that's really fun for me. I feel like makeup did build up my confidence just because it wasn't a, a way to show my personality. So when I was a kid, I really wasn't into fashion and I hated like getting dressed, I hated shopping. I think when I was 16 or 17 is really when I started expressing myself with fashion more. Again, it was the same time I got sick and I really just found that as a way to experience joy and create art at home with limited materials and without having to be hunched over a desk. It's something you can really do from anywhere. So that was something that was special to me. So. These are some pieces I really like, and I just really love the flowiness of it. I love how it has that vintage vibe, like a really truly like old Hollywood vibe. And the ruffles and the pink are so cute. This is like a mini skirt, which I just find it's unique. And I love that like pairing it with these, it kind of has that like hot pink for the back, but it has that hot pink and that light pink. So I feel like it goes well with these pieces. This is technically a burlesque costume I made, but I wear it all the time just as like regular clothing because um, it's comfy and it really kind of feels very me, very genuine to myself, not just my performance personality, which I really like. This piece is actually a vintage mosquito, which I got my hands on after begging someone on Depop. I was looking out at it for years, like I really wanted this this piece because I love the pink hound suit and I love the low like you cut. Throughout my childhood, I felt excluded for a variety of different reasons. I interacted with the world a little bit differently. And then as I grew older, I realized I was queer. And then I started using a wheelchair later on as a teenager and it kind of just all compounded into just feeling different than everyone around me. I think for a while, it really shot my confidence. I just felt like I wasn't worthwhile. I, I got various negative comments. I got a lot of racism. Um, I was in a predominantly white neighborhood growing up as a first generation Indian kid. And then as I came out as queer, I got a lot of exclusion, just people telling me it was wrong. I do get a lot of negative comments online. It'll usually come in bursts, like a certain video will go viral on the wrong side of the internet. Like I had a picture where I am planting a pride flag on the moon that got a lot of hate because it got just reposted everywhere. I got one where someone just in all caps was like, tell me, why are you sitting on a chair? I've definitely had people just be like, I know where you live, telling me that they have a gun. Um, I had one person that like sent me a very graphic message threatening to burn alive, which was not great. 
but I can turn off my phone. And if the people around me in my life are being kind to me, that is really what has an impact on me. Me and my partner are gonna go out and shoot some photos. Uh, we do it a lot just to get content for social media and also just, it's fun, it's a way to hang out. Um, my partner's name is Lee. He is also a queer, disabled, wonderful, wonderful person. And he takes great photos. My name is Lee and I've known Pansy since 2015. We both were teenagers who were like into the same bands. So I think that was kind of our first connection was we had a similar taste in music that we both cared a lot about. So that kind of started our friendship and then a relationship. I think Pansy is inspiring for people with a disability. Usually I just kind of shoot what I'm wearing out for the day. Um, I don't plan it super well. It's just really how I'm feeling and what I'm going out. I get my inspiration all kinds of places. I look at fashion history, I look at other creators. I also just look at things I like, like media and nature, things like that. So I think sharing on social media has allowed me to find community and connect with people and also build a career. So it's really allowed me to connect with people in a way I wouldn't have otherwise. I get a lot of people who tell me that I've encouraged them to be more visible, to be proud of their disabilities, to get a mobility aid if they need one instead of just staying at home and not living their lives because a lot of people do feel shame or guilt around that when they first start using a mobility aid. I have been a fan of burlesque since I was really young. And so when I like turned like 18, 19, I was like, I want to do this. And I just started like kind of putting myself out there and performing. Burlesque is a form of striptease. It tends to include elements of like rhinestones and inspiration from like vintage striptease. The first time I really did burlesque and like I worked with an instructor, I just felt really nervous, but then once I kind of started actually moving on it, it was a lot less intimidating. I know a bunch of other disabled burlesque performers. There's actually a Facebook group for all of us, so we're well connected. There's a whole bunch of us. I think burlesque has helped build my confidence just because performing is something that makes me feel confident. Being celebrated by an audience and by fellow performers makes me feel confident. I'm about to rehearse one of my burlesque routines. I'm focusing on my glove peel and my shoe removal today. Glove peels are pretty standard. It's just removing the glove. Usually you do it slowly. Um, I like to use my mouth or my shoe or something unique, but sometimes you can just tug it and it looks good. <laughs> I would say to anyone struggling with their body image, focus on your goals, focus on having fun and enjoying your life and the self-love will come. People make a lot of assumptions about wheelchair users. I think what I see a lot is that we can't be independent, that we can't have jobs or lives, that we are burdensome, that we are sad all the time, that we are not valuable members of our community. Different people exist in the world and we all deserve to be seen and be heard and be included in society. And it's also important because it shares knowledge. Different experiences bring different knowledge. And so together we're just stronger, we know more.